You know, the best thing about getting older is you don't really let things bother you anymore. You know, you got decades of working on your emotions and stuff. You just go with the flow. So when I came out today, after this big winter storm we just had, to see the amount of snow that buckled and crushed my storage tent, I was fine. I, I was really fine. I remember a time in my life when that would upset me. Especially because I got things in it. Like there's things in that for storage, for winter storage. So I think my tip to you young fellers that get angry about the amount of work you're going to have to do because of a disaster like this that you didn't plan for, you know, you had a million other things you'd rather be doing, is to just let it go, all right? <clears throat> just, just let it go. <laughs> oh, God! Well, we might as well get to it. Let's start emptying this tent out. All right, well, I could not have planned this disaster really any better <laughs> because I had mounted some rails to the ceiling here, to the roof rails, so that I could hang boards, big long boards. They're not heavy but they're long and the way this thing came down was at the front here it landed on the quad which would have done a lot of damage if not for me storing outdoor chair cushions on top of it and when it came down you can see it buckled it just dropped it landed on those cushions nice and soft so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be no damage to the quad although there is some weight sitting on it I see the front suspension is kind of sitting a little low and if we run to the back had my old chopper bike hanging from those boards no damage there it set it down nice and gentle and then if we look where I had these boards attached at the back with the other rail well it landed on a nice comfy soft roll of packing material so yeah I mean front and back it landed on cushions So my goal is here to get a floor jack under this in the middle and just jack it up, get the quad out, get the lawn tractor out, and then just start getting all these other things out of here and then just start dismantling this thing. It's done for. Apart from the tent itself, I don't see anything that got damaged. All right, well, let's, uh, let's deal with this situation. <laughs> Does your tent have a skylight? I bet you it doesn't. All right. Old plug. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Can't do it. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to pull it out of here. This is gonna be fun. I don't think I left enough room beside the jack to get the lawnmower deck by it. I think I'll get another jack, a safety jack we'll call it. Okay. This thing is so heavy. Okay, these things are going under a tarp. Won't need it till the summer. I'm too old for pushing stuff around. Surprisingly enough, this thing looks like it's leaned over and laying on the boat, but it's actually not. I have an upright on the trailer to help guide me when I'm loading the boat and it's sitting right here but that's surely not holding the whole tent up not all this weight look at this yeah that happened
Okay, well, I'm doing better than I thought I would. Lots of room in here. Oh. All right, I'm on break. These big heavy winter boots are just dragging me down. <laughs> 